I know Takeoff name pretty huge right now. I heard Quavo was arguing with some niggas and Takeoff was trying to be the mediator. That's what you get when you're packing guns and you got guns involved with what you do in your life. Sooner or later, them guns gonna have to be used. You just can't hold on to a gun and don't do nothing with the motherfucker. That's why I don't really want one, me. I'm not one to hold a gun and I ain't doing nothing with the motherfucker. What's the reason for having it and you ain't doing nothing with it? That's why I say you ain't gonna find me around that shit. You ain't gonna find me. I'm gonna be far as I fucking can from that type of shit. Guns and niggas. If it's a bunch of niggas and guns, you ain't gonna find me, homie. I'd rather be at home. I'd rather be at the show with my grandkids. I'd rather be doing homework or something with my grandkids. Or or cleaning the house or something, bro. Washing my car instead of me being around a bunch of niggas and guns. But a lot of these niggas got these guns because they're scared. Especially these entertainers, they're scary. They know a nigga gonna get them. <laughs> These entertainers know a nigga gonna get them. So that's why they got guns, cause they scary. They scared to death. And they, but they won't admit it. But they try to uphold their image, you know, in, in, in this rap industry or whatever the fuck they're doing. They try to uphold their image that they they got they they, they the guy they rap about. Fuck them niggas. I've been to Houston, I didn't check in. I came to Houston, I didn't check in, what the fuck for? If you young man, how the fuck you checking in with a nigga? Cause that, that's what I don't understand. Like I say, I wasn't under Killer Wayne leadership long. I'm not checking in nowhere. I'm a grown motherfucking man. I'm a grown man, cuz can't nobody protect me from niggas but me. And the best way to protect yourself from niggas is don't have nothing to do with niggas. Where the Migos from? They're from Atlanta, right? They from Georgia, right? No. If you... They from Georgia, but where they fucked up at was they was at a dice game. The jury dude. The, the dude, the, the dude, the jury dude from Chicago got killed out there in Houston. The shit was, you know, Boosie and them shit was there and all that. Uh, he got killed in Houston. You understand me? Now, that tell you that that's Texas, Houston, Texas niggas getting these out of town niggas. That's all. It don't take no rocket scientist to figure that shit out. If you ain't in your own town, then the odds against you. If you ain't in your own town, the odds against you, bro. Houston, Texas niggas got them niggas, because they're from out of town. There's floss of jury. The jury dude had all the jury and all that shit gambling. Heard he broke the dice game up. That's what I heard. You understand me? No, man. So I'm just saying, you know, you, you got these other niggas, they from out of town, they got the money. Uh they go to they go to Texas and they and they kick it with n- other niggas out there that got a little money. So they kick it with them. You understand me? You got an Atlanta nigga go to Houston and kick it with them niggas that got money too. You understand me? Because that's the only thing going to get you to show up is more money, a, a nigga on your level. So you see the entertainers, the athletes, and the elite motherfuckers getting money, they all function together. They flock together. They do. That's why you you see 
you, you see athletes, football players, basketball players, whatever in the strip club. You you, you see uh these rappers and actors and entertainers, you know, up in there, you know, motherfuckers with money, right? But now you got some gangsters, street niggas got money too. You got shit, millions on eight necks and, and wrists and, and bangers and shit too. Got connections. They come up in there too and mingle. You understand me? So money make mingle. So now that's where you got you got the Migos, you got them around these other motherfuckers, these J Princes and all these type motherfuckers in the rap industry and shit. Money come out that industry and all that. They mingling with each other. You understand me? But one thing is you in one person town and not in your own. If you're successful, you in a position, homie, to uh to build. Why are you mingling in that mess? Why are you around a dice game? Why are you around that? Why are you somewhere where y'all need y'all guns and all this shit for y'all? Why sacrifice dice games? Functions where it's guns and, you know, and why risk that? You're a millionaire now. Once you succeed, build. Bill, all that other type of shit is irrelevant. Clubbing, hanging around motherfucking niggas and all. That's irrelevant, bro. That, you don't need to do that now. You don't need it. You don't need it. All it took was a woman to tell me, Harvey, I'm pregnant with your child. That's all it took. From, was a woman to tell me that and I said, okay, I'm not selling dope no more, I'm not doing this, I'm not doing it. You should have, all this shit, I just start scratching off the list. So I said, I'm not doing this because if I do this, you know, I, I can't be around to raise my child with her. So I knew then it was a lot of shit I had to cut out my life if I wanted to to be a part of it, her and this child life, cuz, so I stopped at that moment when she told me that. I said, okay, I ain't doing this no more, da, 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 and I stopped, Tommy. Anything was risking me going to jail and shit like that, da, 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 I stopped doing it. It didn't take me being a Grammy Award winner and millions of dollars and touring the world and it didn't take me to make that decision. Just becoming a father made me take that decision alone. Just becoming a father made me say that. Okay, well fuck that. I can't be fucking around like this no more like that. I knew what not to do if I wanted to be around to raise a child. I knew what not to do. I seen too many other homies get killed, go to jail, this, that, and that. And they had kids. So I'm like, you know what I mean? Like I say, my old BGs got kids older than me. My old BGs got kids older than me. So I seen my big homies and me, homies, my era on down do they thing before I became a father. So like I said, I've seen plenty of homies get killed or locked up or shit like that, sprung out on drugs, da 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 and they was fathers. And, and already, I'm look, I look and see them, I'm saying, oh man, if I become a father, I ain't doing that kind of shit, cuz, you know, I always knew, I'm like, oh, cuz, y'all niggas, man, you know, I used to trip off of them, cuz. Yeah, but you know, my 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 best advice to a to a man, especially a, a man of success, you done succeeded somehow, some way, and you in a position to build on that, then it's a lot of things that become unnecessary in your life.
as far as this street persona, this culture of ours, uh, this mentality of ours, <clears throat> the consequences, the repercussions, the ratio, the odds, uh, even the awareness of knowing the possibility. But yet and still, we sacrifice and we risk for whatever enjoyment that comes in that type of participation. 